Hello everybody, got a pretty interesting video today. I came over here to get my son He's over here playing basketball with the guy, so I told him it's only gonna be about five minutes and then uh, we'll uh, he's gonna come back here and play basketball. So we'll make this we'll make this quick, Preston, okay? And then we'll come back because I know there's a part in here that you wanted to talk about. So we'll walk over here to the clubhouse and we'll uh, we'll get started. But this is a uh, video that I ha haven't touched on before, and it's uh, one that I haven't really heard before, and, but I thought it's a, a pretty good topic. <clears throat> Beautiful place here. There's uh, a lot of kids here, and there's a lot of visitors here too from uh, a lot of different areas. There's uh, starting vacation season you see a lot of people come and go and then you have a lot of people there uh, that live here year-round from uh, different areas so my kids are getting a, a good experience of uh, living here and meeting different people we'll go ahead and sit down here at the table and uh, get started you want to sit with me, Preston? I'm going to turn the... Hold these papers for a minute, please. And I'll pan the camera around to myself. Get this set up. Pretty breezy today. I think we're getting some of the stuff from uh, the typhoon up north. Some of the tailwinds from it. This video, it's about uh, racism. And I want to start this video by saying there's only one race, and that's the human race. There are different ethnicities of the human race. All humans, they have the same physical character, characteristics with minor variations, of course. God does not show partiality or favoritism. James chapter 2, verse 4 describes those who discriminate as judges of, with evil thoughts instead of instead of uh, we, we're to love our neighbors as we love ourselves I've lived in America all my life I've been a very social person and I've met a lot of people heard a lot of things I've been lucky enough to travel almost all of the United States and I've had uh, interaction with a lot of people. As I've spent my last eight months in the Philippines, I've noticed that everyone here is colorblind. By that, I mean color of one's skin or ethnicity. It, it doesn't matter. Background does not matter here. It makes living here a much better, happier, stress-free place. And then the USA, the USA, the media is full of uh, hate crimes on other human beings, separatists and hate groups that protest and spew hatred out of their mouths. And, and it's, uh, seems like every ethnic group in America is divided where in the Philippines, everyone lives together in peace and harmony People from other countries are called foreigners and are welcomed with smiles and greetings. Not so in the USA. I know many people in the Philippines want to go to the USA. But there, there will be a, a time if they go there where they'll be they'll hear derogatory names directed to them, especially in the less educated areas and less fortunate areas of the USA. Racism is a big problem in America, and one reason is because America is moving away from God. Regardless of ethnicity, all human beings share a common ancestry with Adam and Eve. Go ahead, Preston. You want to say this? Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Do unto others what you would have them do to you. Yep. Preston wanted to read that. I'm so glad my children are getting to experience a new world 
that is not filled with hate and division. God is still number one here in the country and the people are so much better off for it. I don't mean that from an economic standpoint, but from a spiritual standpoint. I personally know people here with no electricity to cook over wood, draw water from a well, and have rice as their main staple for food. But they still give praise and rejoice in God. Would they, would they like to have more? Maybe. Some of them I know are minim minimalists. But they're happy with the things that God has given them. I see my children here playing with children from different parts of the world. I know some of the children to be from India, Saudi Arabia, the UK, and others. Sometimes the innocence of children can be an adult's best teacher because kids know no racism. It's taught in the environment a child is raised. Some of these hate groups in America raise their children to be the same way. But I don't understand it because to flourish, you can't have hatred, hatred and racism in your heart. The USA is supposed to be the land of opportunity, but for many, it's not. There's still a lot of discrimination for age, culture, sex, and color. Although a person is supposed to be protected by the Constitution and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 still exists, along with the more common today is racial profiling for how a person looks or color of their skin or nationality. Now a little history lesson. The Philippines Constitution is virtually a duplicate of the Constitution of the United States. That really surprised me. Specifically, the portion containing the Bill of Rights, the present Constitution in the Philippines was approved October 12, 1986. They have the right to freedom of speech and expression, and they're protected by the Constitution, but the people here are more friendly and respectful of others. They don't need it to protect them. You know, you know now that if you've been discriminated against in America, and you're tired of it, then there's still a place in this world where you can come and be welcome. No matter who you are, until next time, have a good one, be safe, and mahao ko kayu.